listen. And if you're feeling poorly, just remember this tune. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Because the doctor and nurse, well, they know what to do. They do. They'll always take good care of you. So be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. I'm Dr. Ange. Welcome to our very special hospital just for children. Come on, I'll show you around. Lots of clever people like doctors and nurses work here. And they're specially trained to care for children, just like you. You may come here because you're not feeling well or you need to have a test or an operation. Hello. Hello, Dr. Wang. But don't worry, whatever you're here for, there'll be someone like me to check that you're healthy or to help you get well soon. This is my floor. I'd better get to work. Hello, I'm in the plaster room. This is where you come if you have a broken bone or what we call a fracture. I have a patient coming to see me today. Who's come to visit me? Who will it be? Can you guess which friend it is? Let's see. I know who that is. It's Petal. With buttons and bangles, the jangle as I hop. When I'm having so much fun, it's hard for me to stop. Twirling, twisting when I'm singing any song I choose Twirling, twisting, skating, skipping in my dancing shoes Twirling, twisting when I'm singing any song I choose Twirling, twisting, skating, skipping in my dancing shoes Twirling, twisting, skating, skipping in my dancing shoes Woo! Hello, Petal. Good to see you. Come in. Hello, Dr Ranch. You've been in a plaster room before, haven't you? When I broke my arm. That's right. You have a fractured radius. As well as my broken arm. No, that's just another name for the same thing. Look, here's a picture of your arm and the bones inside it. This one, from your elbow to your wrist, is called the radius. Oh, radius. Hmm. And a fracture is another word for a crack or a break. Fracture. Perfect. And yours is fractured there, look. Oh, yes. Your plaster cast protects the bone inside so it can mend. Hmm. I put stickers on it. And my friends drew pictures and wrote their names too. Look. That's great. How does your arm feel now? Hmm. It hurt a lot at first, but not now. I think my plaster cast needs mending, Dr Range. Look, it's a bit crumbly here. And it's dirty. I wanted to wash it, but they said I shouldn't get it wet. Don't worry about that petal, because today we're going to replace it. What do you mean? Your arm needs a little longer to mend, so it's time for a new one. A new arm? No, a new cast. Come over here. <sighs> but what about all my stickers and pictures? I think you're going to like the new one even more. Really? Why? The cast you have now is made from something called Plaster of Paris, but your new one will be made from special fibreglass. Fibreglass? Well, won't that break really easily? No, Petal. Fibreglass is a type of plastic. It's very tough. Your new cast will be lighter and you'll be able to wipe it clean. Oh, good. So first, we need to carefully remove your old cast. How? It's really stuck on. <laughs> Don't worry. I've got a special tool that will cut it off very quickly and easily. Oh, will it hurt? No, it won't hurt, Petal. The tool I'm going to use isn't sharp like a saw or scissors. It cuts the plaster with lots of tiny vibrations. What does that mean? That means it's very shaky. <laughs> well, will I feel anything, Dr Ange? It will feel tingly and ticklish, and it will make a little bit of noise, but it definitely won't hurt. Are you ready to give it a go? Hmm. <sighs> OK.
Right. And now we very carefully open up the cast and take it off your arm. <laughs> it tickles. There we go. <laughs> and let's take that off. I haven't seen my arm for ages. Oh, it's all pale and thin. That's because it's been inside the cast for a long time. Pooey, it's a bit smelly too. Well, you haven't had a chance to wash it for a while, have you? Mm. But don't worry, I'll give it a wash and a fresh sleeve. What's that for? The sleeve is a nice soft layer between your arm and the cast. We add some padding too to keep your arm comfortable and to protect your skin. Oh. Right, there we go. Mm. Let's get it nice and clean. Mm. That feels much better. Good. Now let's add the sleeve. Mm. There we are. And then we add some padding. Round and round it goes. I like it. Good. And now you get to choose the colour of the cast. I can choose? Cool. OK, we have blue, pink, purple. Purple! Or orange. Purple, purple! Oh, it's my most best favourite colour ever, ever! Not blue. Purple! Not pink. Purple! OK, purple it is then. woo -hoo! So we'll dip the purple bandage in some water and wrap it round your arm. Yes, your arm will still be protected and able to mend. I love the colour. Oh, that's looking really pretty. Nearly there. And you're done. I love it. You see, Petal, bones help your body work properly. That's why it's important they're strong and healthy. Respect for your bones, just think for a while If you didn't have your bones, you'd be laid in a pile Respect for your bones, just think for a while If you didn't have your bones, you'd be laying in a pile You've got bones in your fingers, toes, legs and hands It's bones that help your body sit and stand, stand. You've got bones in your ankle, your, your head, knees and feet If it wasn't for your bones, well, you'd be incomplete Respect for your bones, just think for a while If you didn't have your bones, you'd be laying in a pile Respect for your bones, just think for a while If you didn't have your bones, you'd be laying in a pile Take care of those bones, your bones are made to last And if you break a bone, you have to wear a cast Some are made of fiberglass, some are made of plaster But every cast will help your bones heal a little faster Respect, Respect for your bones, just think for a while If you didn't have your bones, you'd be laying in a pile Respect for your bones, just think for a while If you didn't have your bones, you'd be laying in a pile so there you go, Petal. My new cast will help my arm get strong, won't it, Dr Ranch? Yes, it will. Purple power! <laughs> I think you deserve a sticker for coming along today. Oh, thank you, Dr Ranch. And we'll see you again in a couple of months to check how you're getting on. OK. Bye, Dr Ranch. Bye, Petal. It's time for me and everyone here at the Children's Hospital to say goodbye now. Thanks for coming to see us. See you next time. But until then, be happy, be healthy, and get well soon! If you're not feeling well, it's always best to go and see your own doctor and get well soon.